Yo, Chains, I I'll pay you five bucks if you pull that fire alarm right there. Oh, Yo, damn. Run, run, Yo, run, run. Chains, do you know why I've called you into my office today? <laughs> no. You see, that little stunt you pulled has led you to a one-week suspension. God damn it. W what does suspension mean? It means for the next week, you are prohibited from coming to school. Psst, fuck. W what does prohibited mean? Chains. You can't come to school for the next week. Hold up, so you're telling me because I pulled the fire alarm, I don't have to go to school for a week? Yes, it's a suspension. You are Man, I got a love-hate relationship when it comes to getting suspended from school. Like on one hand, shit, you just don't have to go to school. But, but on the other hand... Suspended? Oh, I'm about to suspend that ass. Ah, fuck. Ow. Shit. <coughs> I, all right, I don't recommend getting suspended. That shit is not worth it. But how do I know? This story dates way, way, way back to grade seven. It was a cold winter day at Stickman Middle School. In fact, it was freezing cold, and this gave Billy a great idea. Yo, the pond behind the school is frozen. L let's go fuck around on it. Oh, I'm down. Okay, bet. So after school, we got a group of five homies, and we headed over to the frozen pond. Now, to paint the picture, behind Stickman Middle School was Stickman Elementary School, and behind Stickman Elementary School was this frozen pond, meaning we had to walk through Stickman Elementary School to get to this pond. But nonetheless, we walk up to the pond and instantly I see this big red sign that says, Hazard, do not step on ice. Guys, the, the sign says do not step on ice. Man, I what the sign? W watch this. Oh shit, look, it's sturdy as fuck. Yo, yo, <laughs> fuck. And even though Billy's dumbass fell in, the ice was actually pretty sturdy. So, you know, we're gliding around, eating shit, hitting the meanest ballerina spins you've ever seen, and, and, and eating shit. And we were having some good old harmless fun. In fact, our grade 7 selves were having the time of our lives on this frozen water that is until. <clears throat> Oh, what do you guys think you're doing? Uh, we were just just walking on the ice. Mm, did you guys not see the sign? What uh, what what sign? I I could have swore I, I put a sign right here. Nope, no, no sign there, at all. There was no sign. Yeah. I have no clue what you're talking about. Uh, okay, but but you guys have to get off the ice. Well, well, why? N nobody's getting hurt. Yeah, we're safe. Okay, it's your choice. You're gonna regret this. So we continued with our ice skating antics for approximately 10 more minutes. Until the same lady came back up to the pond, but this time she was equipped with a Sony Alpha A7 mirrorless digital camera with the Extendo lens. In other words, she was quite literally about to catch us in 4K, but but at least she doesn't know what school we go to. Hey, uh, what school do you guys go to? N not Stickman Middle School. Absolutely not. No, definitely not. Fuck, she knows. We had to think quick. How are we gonna smoothly get out of this situation without getting in trouble so we called a boys emergency meeting we huddled up and discussed our best plans to get out of this situation and after combining all of our genius grade 7 brains we made the ultimate plan. If we started mooning the camera it would then be illegal for her to take pictures of our middle school cheeks. I don't know how this became our best option, but regardless, we put the plan in motion. I mean, me personally, I got a little shy and kept my pants up, but some of the boys were out there going crazy, looking more caked up than Summer Rae. And after a little while, the lady must have decided it wasn't a great look to have a camera pointed at some 12-year-old cheeks, and she left. Which means the plan had worked flawlessly. Now the next day at school, I had completely forgot about it to be honest. But strangely enough, while I was sitting in math class, I hear the little class phone start ringing. Uh, hello? Oh yes, he's here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll send him your way. Thank you. Uh, Chains, Mr. Principal wants to talk to you. And at this point, I should have picked up on why I was being called to the office, but I had complete faith in our foolproof plan of mooning this stranger that the thought of being in trouble didn't even cross my mind. That was until I walked into the office to see every single one of the boys sitting in Mr. Principal's office. But mama didn't raise a snitch, so we started capping our asses off. So, uh, what did you guys do after school yesterday? Mm, not nothing. I, I, I played Fortnite. I, I, I was doing a homework. Mm, don't play stupid with me. 
I got a call from Mrs. Principal over at Stickman Elementary. So tell me, what were you doing on the pond yesterday? I, I, I wasn't there. It wasn't us. I, I don't know what you're talking I, about. I don't even know what a pond is. I see. Well, I've got evidence. And as he shows us this undeniable evidence, you can see this dude Billy's cheeks in the corner of one of the pictures. So I slowly look over at Billy. And he looks over at me. <laughs> if you don't stop laughing right now, you're all suspended. <laughs> That's it. You're all suspended. And as I explain the situation to my mom, let's just say Mama Change was not happy. 